coffee yeah that's what I'm going to show you today this video here it's about the new feature in the release 98 there is already a newer one but it's about this part here as always the credit goes to this time Nayala he posts this video amazing stuff and also the flow he posted and that's enough to some people to build the setup and I'm sharing you how this setup works okay what you're gonna need for this scene is one plane one object that will grow the ropes and a colliding object in my scene I just made this ball come here it grows and get out what you need now is a birth surface next spawn once object bind you're gonna need in case that you wanna animate the plane and a particle switch next step is the second event you're gonna need spread here you can turn it zero and z direction the distance that you want to grow the the ropes next resample resample is used to create the dots between the beginning and the end point so for sample works you need click parent children and this will indicate the number of dots between them and that ultimately is about the how flexible will be your rope or not particle bind that's the point of this video here you're gonna see in a second how it works and to see the bindings is nice to show bindings you don't enable by proximity but you enable by siblings we're gonna go back to particle bind in a second but just to complete this scene let's put a force strength minus 0 0.3 and collision let's pick the ball and also the plane here really quick test so let's visualize those lines by applying spline path create new connect by part siblings particle bindings we enable here can visualize we can go back to particle binds and turn off show bindings now you can see let's play simulation again the lines look like that you can make it better by going tie spline and weld bindings okay look this happening you don't want to see this happen that's where type particle bindings collision and evil CUDA will come to play even after enabling CUDA collision solver you can run into this kind of problem here this interconnection two settings to keep an eye first is your time step you can increase it to get a better result the other setting is still happening some is your radius in your bind particle bind it's good to be bigger than the radius of your tie spline measure okay so now I put double if I put a little bit bigger, it looks that solved this problem a little bit better for the current version. Great. 
result now is a little bit better. So it's all those settings. The beauty of this setup is now that you can just go crazy in the settings. Remember the particle binding that we did? So I will put it on use now. Turn off now just to do to make more fast the animation. So I to this point I just bring a little bit up and rotate. Come back here, turn on, and let's run the simulation with particle bind, object bind enabled. So today was basically that, and subscribe please, it helps the channel, see you next one.